Hello, this is Dory, and today we're looking at six complex structures that use inversion and fronting for emphasis. Before we jump in, I gotta say that these are not the only possible constructions, there's a lot more of them in English. So for now, I've just picked the ones that pose the most difficulties to ESL learners. If you want me to film a part two, though, leave a um, heart on fire emoji in the comments down below, and I'll do it. Okay, let's get right into it. The first case is concerned with clauses beginning with as and then. So we invert the subject and the verb in a clause like this. The boys miss her terribly, as do William and I. Now are you going to come to dinner or not? However, I do not find the inversion in clauses beginning with then, as in country people tend to speak more slowly than do city dwellers very natural, and I would generally advise learners to avoid it in conversational English. Some famous commentators have also expressed their disapproval. Henry Fowler, author of a dictionary of modern English usage, called it deprecated, as apparently did another grand old man, Sir Ernest Gowers. To prove that the inverted clause with then is mostly used in formal context, have a look at this excerpt from The Economist. The dangers of global deflation are greater and more difficult to control than is the case with global inflation. Next are the constructions with so and such. To emphasize or to highlight how tired a person was, you could say, so exhausted was Lily that she went straight to bed, instead of she was so exhausted that she went straight to bed. An example with an adverb, he played the tune so badly that nobody recognized it. To make it more emphatic, use the inversion. So badly did it play the tune that nobody recognized it. And another one with a noun. The extent of the damage was such that the car was a total write-off. Turns into such was the extent of the damage that the car was a total write-off. Okay, we figured out how to highlight an adjective, an adverb, a noun. How do we highlight an action? Well, simple. We just use WH cleft sentences. As in the following example, what these actions are is totally undemocratic. I know that the verbs put side by side might throw you off, but there's nothing ungrammatical going on in the sentence. Issues might arise though when dealing with different tenses. Usually the highlighted phrase contains a bare infinitive or a two infinitive. What the director did was a point or to a point a new manager. But if the highlighted verb is in the continuous or perfect, the form of do matches it. What the boys are doing is talking. What the girl has done was broken the window. And finally, there are some phrases that just have to be remembered as these two. Try as I may, I just cannot put this thing together right. This expression introduces some kind of failure, regret, and the other one is, cold though it was, we went out. And we're done for the day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Peace out!